Farming Simulator 23 is on its way, and I am determined to figure out what's the fastest way to make money, and, and I actually have no idea. But we're gonna find out. I've tried a few different things already off screen, like planting a bunch of soybeans and then selling them over and over and over again. The problem with that is you need a lot of equipment to make that happen. And judging by the way I've done it in the past, I did it wrong. My next guess would be any type of points of interest. So uh, talking about the production chain. So whether it be grape or grain or maybe the oil down here, like select it, there we go. Something like this, being able to run production chains and having more than one source of income. That might be a certain way to go. And I'm thinking about going that way. Now with grain, we could also sell the straw, but with canola or something like that, which is what we would have to go with likely with the equipment that we've got, uh, we're going to have to deal with that. But first we have a bunch of wheat here on the field, so we may as well harvest it. So I'm just gonna jump in here. I'm gonna line up the harvester correctly. We could probably do this a whole lot faster than he could, but you know what, whatever. Our worker, let him go. The rest of the equipment, I kinda wanna keep an eye on. I don't think we need uh, to get a tipper <laughs> just quite yet. I think we could probably sell that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send literally the rest of the equipment back to the store. We're gonna sell it all. Yeah, we should probably keep a tipper though, just in case, but I don't think I need this tractor. If we go into the vehicle menu, this makes it super easy. So we can select different pieces and we can literally reset everything from here. So I'm just going to reset that. Yes, awesome, sweet. Now it is over here at the store. Awesome. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, why in the world am I getting rid of the only way that I can actually go forward from here? Well, uh, one of the things is we've got our cultivator and we've got our cedar here. Plus we have three tractors. Though these tractors are good, we're actually not getting a lot of power out of these. We do have 170 horsepower on the Masseys and the John Deere's got 190, but if we back out and we take a look at cedars, for example, if we bump into here, well, immediately <laughs> you notice there's only one that actually works with these and we could jump down into planters as well but the thing with planters is they don't always plant everything that we want them to even though something like this the optima might be a good idea we could jump into details this is all good but we also need to cultivate the ground and I don't want to deal with that. As far as I've been able to tell the Pottinger Terra Sim is going to be the best thing for us starting off with so um if we look at the details, we can also see here, no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. That doesn't mean that the ground still doesn't need to be plowed. It just means that you could put the stuff into the ground. And the thing I like about this is lower yes, horsepower, 210 rating. And we've also got a uh, fertilizer in there as well. So that is very good. That is good. All right, so let's get this stuff sold so we can get a little bit of extra cash. So we've currently got everything running max go so we'll put this about there that'll work and I'm definitely going to be selling the john deere i like this one it's got a little bit of power but unfortunately it just doesn't quite have the oomph to do what i want it to do all right so we can sell all of these i do want to show you guys this if we go into i think it's here uh we could sell these from oh goodness what menu is that vehicles here we go so we could sell these so example the john deere 4755 is going for eighty-eight thousand dollars. over here at the store if we take a look at it here 97 so make sure you guys bring everything over to the store if you're gonna sell it nice okay we have a decent amount of change now, 324,000. Again, I want to hold off as long as I can selling this because it is a decent tractor to get around. Plus, it's always nice to have something extra and we don't have to pay for it. So we want to be able to get seed into the ground and we want to be able to spend as little money as possible. I think the Pottinger Terra Sim is definitely going to be the best thing for that. Oh man, you can't even... I was just looking at the Amazon real quick. All right, Pottinger, it is... Double check I've got the right one. Yes, please. Got it. Okay. Now we've got, what is that? $214,000 left. Okay. Not too bad. So this is somewhere that you could get into a lot of trouble. I'm going to back out real quick just to show you guys. So the cedar that we've gone with, 
the Amazon, or the uh, Pottinger, rather. This requires 210 horsepower. Not that bad, then everything in the game usually needs about what it calls for. So, 210 horsepower. This Massey, this Massey ain't gonna do it for us. I am wondering, should I have kept that John Deere? <laughs> it's decent, uh, decent on power. Uh, I mean, the pricing's pretty low. So what I was gonna say is, go for this. Landini, the Robo 6, 225 horsepower, which is more than enough. Uh, it is decently dish priced, and we'll have some left over. It's like $44,000 left over, which is pretty good. What we could do is just kind of over and over and over again, selling things, or at least holding it off until we're ready to sell the canola. Um, it could definitely pay off for us. So if you wanted to go the route that I'm going, but you wanted to buy your uh, production chain first. Aha, we got a little weight on the front. If you wanted to buy the production chain first, you're probably going to want to go the other way, but this, I think this will work fine for us. Also, if you don't go fast enough, the cars will go around you. Just a heads up. There he goes. He's trying to pass me. I'm going to slam on brakes so he can keep going. He'll go there, then he'll go back. They pass you. How awesome is that? Hey, looks like our combine harvester is almost done, so that's going to be a nice amount of wheat that we can have. Uh, I do need to buy some seed and fertilizer. You can do this here. So going to do that now. Uh, it's actually, actually, I don't know if I need much of this. Oh, that's a lot of money going down. That's a whole lot of money going down. Let's, let's go ahead and stop that right there. <laughs> all right, so after it's all said and done, we've got all of that. Let's go ahead and set this to canola. And uh, we're gonna wanna go ahead and start planting. So. I'm gonna go ahead and hire this up on a worker, try and get this done, get this planted up, and uh, well, you'll have to join me next time as we hopefully check out what happened. Yeah!